what is up everyone welcome to my live stream hope you all are doing most magnificently on this fine friday what is it november 13th 2020 holiday season coming up <clears throat> life is pretty good thanksgiving only less than two weeks out I'm not sure if i'm not sure what percentage of my viewers actually celebrate thanksgiving i know i have a lot of uh you know, international viewers, folks from India and so on. A couple of people from Sri Lanka have uh, have reached out to me. Thankful to all of my viewers, but of course, here in the United States, we celebrate Thanksgiving, which is funny. And it's, <laughs> there was a, a comedian who had a, a bit about this. His name's Jim Gaffigan. I've never heard of him. Jim Gaffigan's hilarious. He's like, "What's the deal about Thanksgiving? Like, <laughs> the tradition is is we overeat. It's like, but we do that every day in America." <laughs> Uh, it's pretty funny. I've, of course, I'm butchering the joke. He says that his delivery and, and voice are a lot funnier than mine. I'm not a very funny person, but I would definitely suggest. I think the comedy special was called Beyond the Pale, if I'm if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Beyond the Jim Gaffigan, Beyond the Pale. Uh, look that up. It's you, you won't regret it. It's hilarious. So I see we got a couple of people in here. Welcome, welcome to both of you. Uh, my screen says there are two people in here, so. It's just the three of us for now. Uh, hopefully we'll get some more, but to the two of you, I say hello. Oh, a third person just topped in. Hello to the three of you guys. Uh, I hope you're having a very, very good day today, and I hope you have plans for a fantastic weekend. Uh, feel free to drop a message in the chat. Let me know how you're doing. I would love to know how you're doing, and, or if there's any uh, topics that you'd like to discuss to... <laughs> let's try that again. If there's any topics that you'd like to discuss, chemistry or otherwise, um, happy to talk about them. It's funny, actually, uh, I have my little, my textbook here, uh, Chemistry, A Molecular Pro Approach by Tro. This is, I don't know what edition this is. I'm trying to check the back of it. This might actually be the first edition of this book. Uh, this, I think I got this back in like 2009 or something. So it's definitely got some, some age on it. It's got some mileage on it. The first page is all ripped and, but you know, still a lot of good information in there. And I use it sort of, uh, you know, to, to reference things if I need to brush up on my general chemistry, if I'm like preparing for a video, trying to pick out a topic, this is the uh, this is the book that I use as my reference. So what book do you guys use? Maybe there's a good conversation starter. What book do you guys use to study chemistry? And it doesn't have to be general chemistry. You can tell me what book you use for organic chemistry, what book you use for analytical chemistry or physical chemistry or biochemistry or inorganic chemistry or whatever chemistry you are currently studying or are interested in studying in the future, what book do you use or what book do you intend to use to study chemistry? A couple of messages in the chat. Uh, Vuram Akternam says, thank you. Um, you're very welcome. I'm not sure exactly what you're thanking me for, but uh, you are very welcome, um, as always. Uh, Kai says, hey you, hello, Kai. Ah, it looks like you've pulled out your Dakota ring and decoded the message in the title. Very good, kudos to you, Kai. If I had a prize, uh, I would send it out to you ASAP, but unfortunately I don't have any prizes. You know, I'm, I think I might, you know, in the distant future, it seemingly when I hit 100K subs, um, I have no idea how long in the future that was gonna be, that's gonna be. I'd like to do it within a year, but that doesn't seem very realistic the way things are going. I'd have to do something crazy to get a big boost in subs. But, you know, in the event that I hit 100K subs uh, and get that, that, that coveted silver play button, uh, I'm definitely gonna do some kind of uh, giveaway, have some kind of big, big, you know, video where I, you know, just get deep into things and, and just talk about some really important stuff too. That's kind of my vision of what I intend to do when I hit that benchmark. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, again, I don't know how long it's going to be. <laughs> it might be three, four years from now. But uh, yeah, definitely going to do a giveaway when it comes uh, time for 100 subs. Kai says, I'm fine with you giving me imaginary kudo points. Yeah, I give you I, I give you 1 million and 1. You know, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I withdraw that. I give you uh, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd imaginary kudo points transferred from my brain to yours. Enjoy them. And congratulations. So what's going on? How are y'all doing? If y'all have any topics you want to bring up, feel free to drop them in the chat. Let me know what's going on in your lives, what's going on in your mind, and I'd love to talk about it. Um, one thing that I kind of wanted to 
talk about like i think it was the last live stream that i did i was at the park i had my two daughters with me so i was a little bit distracted and somebody asked me a question about the energetics of solution formation like you know you know what's the deal with with heat of solution and all that stuff and, and the answer that i gave wasn't really very great uh because i you know like i said i was kind of like digging in my memory banks i had a you know a uh, slightly irritable baby on my chest. I had a, a toddler in front of me that I'm trying to keep safe and, and this and that and the other. Um, so I could talk about that briefly. So uh, when you have, uh, you know, when you think about making a solution, you're dissolving a solute in a solvent. So really three things have to happen. One of them is the solute particles have to break apart from one another. Um, one is that the solvent particles have to sort of break apart from, from one another to a certain extent in order to dissolve the solute particles. And then the third thing is that the uh, solute particle and solvent particles come together to form a solution. And so all three of those things have certain uh, energetic um, implications to them. Now the first two, right, the solute particles breaking apart and the solvent particles breaking apart, those are both going to be uh, endothermic. They're going to require energy. You're going to have to put energy into the system to do that. Um, so they're, they're going to cost energy or the, the, the delta H associated with the uh, solute breaking up and the solvent breaking up is always going to be positive. And then the coming together of the solute and solvent, that's going to be exothermic. That's going to release energy. Energy is released when bonds or, you know, favorable strong attractions form. And so whether or not you have an overall endothermic or exothermic heat of solution depends on the relative um, energetics associated with those endothermic processes and uh, exothermic processes. So for instance, if the amount of energy released when solute and solvent come together is greater than the sum of the amount of energy is absorbed when the solute particles break apart, when the solvent particles break apart, then you'll have an overall exothermic heat of solution. Something like when you put sodium hydroxide into water and mix it around, you'll see some condensation and the flask or beaker will start to get warm. That's an exothermic heat of solution. And if the opposite is true, right? If the amount of energy released when the solute and solvent come together is less than the amount of energy absorbed whenever the solute particles break apart and solvent particles break apart, uh, then you'll have an overall endothermic uh, delta H positive uh, heat of solution, which is the case of something like ammonium chloride or ammonium nitrate. Uh, when you mix it together um, and you feel the flask, it'll, it'll become very cold. So that is hopefully, I don't know if the person who asked me that, I can't remember who asked me that question, uh, but hopefully they find their way <laughs> to the video of this live stream, or maybe they're watching it right now. That would be nice. <laughs> and and that's a much better answer than the, the half-assed, uh, you know, sort of uh, scatterbrained answer that I gave uh, in my last live stream. So uh, a couple of messages in the chat. Uh, let's see... Kai says, uh, do you use Pymol to create 3D chemical structures? If not, what software do you use? Um, you know, I haven't actually done that in a while. Um, I haven't really, yeah, I haven't done that in a while. I haven't really used a software to get like a 3D uh, you know, image of a, of a molecule. Um, Back in the day, <clears throat> so like when I was in college and stuff, um, some of my classmates had a license for the program called ChemDraw. And uh, ChemDraw is a software that is developed by uh, Perkin Elmer, which is uh, a company that also uh, manufactures um, analytical instruments and things like that. You may have seen like a Perkin Elmer uh, spectrometer or something like that, like a like a uh, I think they do like you you know UV vis spec spectrophotometers and stuff like that. Uh, so ChemDraw is fantastic. I didn't have it though um, when I was an undergrad. So I found a free, uh, slightly not as good uh, alternative called ACD ChemSketch. So the the, the program is is called ChemSketch. It's uh, developed by uh, ACD Labs and it's free and it's great. It works really really well. Um, it's not quite as easy to use as ChemDraw. ChemDraw is like super user friendly and easy to get used to. So Chem, like ChemSketch definitely has sort of a learning curve to it, but it does have, you know, a, a 3D viewer, you know, so you draw a molecule and you click on the 3D viewer and, you know, you can, you can, uh, you know, drag your mouse cursor around to rotate the molecule and things like that. 
So, you know, obviously, you know, if, if you're a, um, you know, it's like beggars can't be choosers, you know, you're getting something for free, you can't complain. And uh, for me, it worked. I used it. Uh, I would, I would uh, take images that I created with ACD Chem Sketch and, uh, and I use, you know, I, I would print them out. Like I, I would insert them into my lab reports, make them look really nice. There were a lot of people who wrote their lab reports and they would draw out the structures with a pen by hand. And that would just look not as good as, as stuff that's, you know, typed up and computer generated and looks really clean and nice. And I got a lot of kudos from that, um, from professors. There was this one professor who, uh, who was, who was the, um, he was the coordinator of the inorganic chemistry lab back when I was taking inorganic chemistry. And, you know, he, he looked at my lab reports. He's like, these are like the most beautiful lab reports I've ever seen. And he gave me a lot of kudos for that, even though it really didn't have anything to do with how good of a researcher I was. Like the presentation aspect of things is, is you know, it's, it's pretty important and it means a lot to a lot of people. And so, um, you know, obviously it's, it's secondary to, you know, doing good research and, and working hard. Uh, but, you know, if, if you can, you know, why not make your, your, your lab reports and things like that look nice. I mean, it only takes a little bit, a little bit extra more effort and, and people appreciate it. So it's a win-win situation. So uh, I've seen we have a couple of people hopping out, hopping back in. Uh, to those of you who are new arrivals to the stream, thank you so much for joining. I wholeheartedly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I, I've never heard of that program though, Kai. I've never heard of that program called Pymol. Uh, maybe I'll check it out. I don't know. I just don't have much of a need uh, in my day-to-day -day life for, you know, having a, a 3D viewer of, uh, of molecules. Although it would be nice to have a software uh, that I can, you know, I can render my own 3D molecules and then use them as like images in my videos and stuff like that. Um, I would love that. So, so if that's a good program or if it's, you know, if, if it's free or if it's reasonably priced, um, then let me know and I'll, I'll certainly check it out. And, um, you know, maybe, maybe it might be the next big thing that I use. I don't know. But luckily here, here at my job, we use ChemDraw and I mean, it's ChemDraw is just fantastic. I mean, it's just so easy to use. You know, you can bang out, you know, really complicated structures very, very quickly. Um, you know, you can just click a button and it'll tell you what the chemical formula is, what the molecular weight is, you know, what the IUPAC name is. And I, and I think Chem, ChemSketch also does that to a certain degree, but with ChemDraw, it's just, a lot easier like with ChemDraw, you know let's say you have uh a ring of atoms right let's say so let's say you have like a benzene ring like a six membered you know ring with alternating uh double and single uh bonds and they're all carbon carbon right if you have this benzene ring and let's say you wanted to change it from benzene to pyridine which would mean that one of those carbons would become a nitrogen all you would literally have to do is just hover your mouse cursor over that atom that you want to edit and just hit the letter N on your keyboard and it'll change it from a carbon to a nitrogen atom. So it's like once you once you understand like the capabilities of ChemDraw and like the the, the you know quick ways to sort of do things, um, it, it becomes like a really, really nice software that's like really, really easy to use. Pretty expensive from what I'm well from what I understand, but you know the company company pays for it. I don't pay for it. So speaking of things that the company pays for, uh, I got a new pair of shoes recently. Um, I'd show them to you but they're on my feet right now. And I kind of don't feel like taking off one of my shoes and putting it on camera <laughs> close to my face. It would, it would stink because even though I haven't had them for a long time, I've been on my feet a lot uh, recently. So I'm sure my new shoes stink pretty bad already. But uh, they're, they're great. I mean, they're like steel toe shoes. They're like Timberland Pros. They were very comfortable right out of the box. I'm, you know, kind of still breaking them in, but, you know, they don't feel uncomfortable at all. And, you know, they're like $130 shoes that the company just paid for. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, Kai says, wait, you bought Yeezys. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I don't know what Yeezys are. Um, forgive me for not being, uh, you know, hip to the latest jargon, but <laughs> I don't know what Yeezys are. Uh, they're called Timberland Pros. Um, it's a type of work shoe. There's a, uh, <laughs> there's a, uh, Sorry, I just saw a, a funny uh, YouTube headline. Uh, yeah. Oh, Kai says Yeezys are Kanye shoes, LOL. Uh, no, I, I, I don't think Kanye wears Timber, Timberland Pros. These are like work shoes, like, you know, working class, like blue collar sort of shoes. I'm like really tempted to just take one of them off my feet and show it to you. <laughs> I don't know, maybe when more people come in here. According to my screen, there's only like one person in here right now. I guess it's just you and me, Kai. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess people just have better 
not saying that this isn't good, but I guess people just have what they imagine to be better things to do on a Friday than to tune into the live stream and, and get an interesting, thought-provoking discussion going, which is what I'm interested in. So, uh, no, they're not Kanye shoes. <coughs> I don't even know what Kanye shoes look like. Do they have, like, the, the horizontal blinds on them, like the Kanye sunglasses? Are they like that? That's the only thing I, Kanye related that I know about. Oh, man. One thing that I also got recently were these new sunglasses. Uh, they're very cheap. There was like 16 bucks on Amazon. I don't spend a lot, of, a lot of money on sunglasses because I lose sunglasses or my daughter will like mess with them and break them and this and that. So I always go, go cheap for sunglasses. Um, but it's been raining all week. This is like the first time it's like sunny outside finally after being cloudy and rainy like all week long. Basically, like I, I ordered these sunglasses. They arrived on Tuesday and I, this is like the first time I'm able to actually like need them and wear them so this is what they look like i can't really see what's going on on the screen because they're polarized i can barely actually see myself or the chat or anything like that but um i don't know i'm always stoked when i have when i have a new thing like a new purchase even if it's something cheap or small like these sunglasses like i don't know there's something about that feeling of just yeah i bought something new for myself you know um Another thing that's not quite as cheap that I, I got for myself recently are these. Uh, I took advantage of the Amazon Prime Day and I got me some Echo Buds. Uh, so they have like Alexa on them. Uh, they're the, definitely the nicest Bluetooth earbuds that I've ever had. They come with like... Um, man, I, I feel like I'm doing a sponsorship deal right now. I swear I'm not. I'm not sponsored because um, I don't really get enough views to land a sponsorship <laughs> apparently. But, uh, definitely. But, uh, yeah, these are, these are really nice earbuds. And, you know, I decided, like, screw it, dude. I'm just going to splurge and get me some nice earbuds. And since it was Amazon Prime Day, uh, they were on sale. And, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're just really nice. I think, like, they're regularly go for, like, $130, $130. And, uh, they were on sale for, like, $80. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Damn, almost 17 minutes in and only one person in here. Well, thank goodness for you, Kai. Nice to have the self-esteem boost of having one person in here, but man, kind of disappointing. I guess that means I need to do these streams on different days and times. You know, I actually, uh, you know, based on just my last few streams, I, I, I'm not really, I haven't really been looking at my analytics too much, especially for live streams, but um the weekends like the weekends like during the day like when i go to the park with my daughter seemed to be a good day i think like the last stream i had like 12 or 15 or something like that concurrent viewers which of course is not shattering the world <laughs> by any live streaming standard but definitely much better than one <laughs> so you know it's good data and i'm happy to have this one-on-one -on -one conversation well, i haven't seen a chat message from you in a while so i wonder if you're if you're actually still in here if it's somebody else Hello, hello, hello. All right. Well, I'm going to hit the road now, and I'm still going to keep the stream on, So, I, but I won't be able to look at the chat, like, you know, unless it's, like, very sparingly, like, at a red light or something. Uh, so I'm going to get going. I'm going to head over to the store, and then I'll just kind of stay parked there while I, while I finish up the live stream. Oh, a couple more people just hopped in. Hello to you. I hope you are having a most magnificent Friday, and I hope you have some really nice plans to have a really good weekend. Um whether it's, you know, traveling somewhere, spending time with family, doing something fun, or just, you know, kicking back Netflix and chilling and recharging your batteries. I mean, hey, we could all use that, right? I know I certainly can. Oh, I am a victim of sleep depri deprivation, big time. I have been waking up multiple times a night to feed and change and soothe my six-week-old daughter it's almost been six weeks actually i think yesterday was six weeks to the day if i'm not mistaken uh time certainly flies she is much bigger than she was when she was born um, but still very 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 little and just precious and beautiful and i gotta tell you man being a parent is awesome oh looks like it's dropped down to zero viewers so it looks like i'm talking to myself here which is okay because i talk to myself 
all the time. It's how I continue to think straight, like when I'm working or something, if I'm, you know, trying to multitask and I got a bunch of different things on my mind, I'm always thinking, you know, I don't know, it just helps to talk to myself to, to sort of keep myself focused. I think I might have a touch of ADD or something, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> There's a couple of folks in my family, I won't name them or identify them, but they have ADD pretty bad, so I think I might have a touch of it. Not as bad as they do, but still pretty bad. Um, so yep, yeah, still waiting on some people to get in here. Still zero viewers. Man, I guess I'm just not that entertaining or interesting. Either that or uh, people, their attention has just uh, drifted to what they believe to be more important things or maybe to what are actually more important things. Um, it's funny because ever since Tuesday the 3rd, you know, Election Day, um, I saw a pretty sharp decline in my viewers and I've been struggling to, to sort of recoup ever since. Uh, but I, I think a lot of people are just kind of consumed with uh, a lot of the uh, political stuff lately. Uh, me, I was consumed with it for maybe a day and a half. Like I was really, like, you know, looking at the electoral map and and you know, refreshing the page, you know, every few minutes uh, on, on to, the night of Tuesday the third, and then maybe for about half the the day on Wednesday the fourth, uh, and then I just quickly crashed and burned out on it. And I'm just like, ah, oh, you know, whatever, whatever happens happens. It's not going to change anything if I keep ogling at this. Uh, you know, at this electoral map every every couple of minutes, so whatever. And also, you know, who the president is, who the Senate are, the House of Representatives, like all that stuff is really uh, a very small component of my life overall. With me, and I would argue with pretty much anybody, the, uh, you know, where you end up as an adult and how well you do, how successful you are, how happy you are in your relationships is uh, is largely the the result of the choices that we make uh, not really you know who's who's running things at the very very top level of uh of government so anyway uh so yeah i think a lot of people are just consumed with that um either that or you know my content's gone stale which i'm perfectly willing to accept but uh nitish Upadaye says, uh, yes, we are our choices. Yeah, right on, man. Hey, thanks for joining the stream, man. Glad to have you here. Uh, based on your name, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably like early in the morning or middle of the night on your side of the planet. So thank you for for uh, for staying up to watch. Really, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I think, um, you know, people who get really, really upset about, you know, their candidate losing or this or that. I mean, I can understand being a little bit bummed out about it for a day but you know it's like move on you know certainly it should take a lot less time than four years for you to be deranged about <laughs> about the uh you know your preferred candidate losing or your you know the candidate you don't like it again um but yeah i think you know everybody you know it's like okay take one day to stew about it and then the next day you know focus on on what's actually important locally focus on you know, the stuff over which you actually have control. And I, I think most people would, would be much happier as a result of that. Not to preach, it's just my opinion. Obviously, I encourage people doing whatever they want, whenever they want it, so long as they're not harming or endangering others. But uh, that's sort of my take on the whole on the whole thing. But so th to those of you who are uh, new arrivals in the stream, welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you guys so much. For, for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. I am here for you. I'm here to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. I am here to take your feedback, whatever content you would like to see produced in the future. Um, I sincerely would like to produce it. Um, I, you know, obviously can't really guarantee a time frame given that I'm really, really busy with, uh, you know, two kids, full-time job and all the rest of it. Uh, also the holidays coming up. Uh, I got some plans um, in about a month, a little less than a month. I'm traveling to Las Vegas for a bachelor party for my brother. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, love Vegas. Been there once had a blast. Can't wait to go back. Um, a couple more messages from Nitish says, yeah, your videos are really helpful. Keep them, keep inspiring. Thanks, man. Thanks. That's definitely the goal. You know, the goal is to keep, to keep producing helpful content. And you know, the moment I stop being as helpful, I, I really want people to step up and tell me like, hey man, your content, you know, your latest stuff sucks, like get better. You know, this is what you could be doing better. You know, I am happy to receive criticism. Um, I'm not immune to criticism by any means and I actually welcome criticism. I think it's a very important of, uh, component 
important component of, of getting of getting better and improving. So uh, yeah, definitely definitely welcoming any form of feedback, whether it's positive or negative. I want I want all of it. So. Uh, but yeah, the, the most recent video I uploaded was uh, how to, uh, it was a, a sort of a step-by-step walkthrough. It was a pretty long video. It was like a 25-minute long video. But I, you know, it, it was important for me to be thorough and to do it right and not to rush uh, and just make it as good and, and, and comprehensive as, as possible. But the video was about how to balance a uh, redox oxidation reduction reaction equation taking place in acidic solution. And my goal is uh, this weekend, I would like to uh, do a, a, a similar problem, uh, another uh, balancing redox equations problem, but to do it uh, in basic solution. The steps are uh, you know, similar, but a little bit different uh, than when you do it in acidic solution. So I, I wanna make sure I have, uh, I have both of those topics sort of covered. Um, so that's the goal is to get that done this weekend. Hopefully I can get it done, but you know. There are no guarantees, um, but I'm going to work my hardest to get it done. Uh, Nitish says, uh, can you produce more videos where you use programming slash simulations to solve chemistry problems? Ooh, um, I'm not sure what you're, what you mean by programming slash simulations. You know, I thought about doing a video series and, you know, to those of you who are in here, not just Nitish, but everybody else who's in here, let me know what you think of this idea. I thought about doing a video series on using Microsoft Excel or, you know, just a spreadsheet in general. Probably I'll be using Excel because that's like the, the biggest, you know, uh, most common uh, spreadsheet that most people are. Ooh, there's roadkill on the street. Oh, I hope I didn't run it over again. Uh, so yeah, Excel is like the most common, you know, spreadsheet that's like the most familiar to people. So I thought about doing a video series of like how to use Excel, like in the context of chemistry and, you know, how to, how to, you know, program Excel uh, calculations and functions into your spreadsheet so that you can bang out, you know, calculations and collect data really quickly. Um, if that's something that you guys are, are would be interested in, uh, that would be pretty easy to do. I mean, I have the software. I can, I can, you know, screen record um, a video. I, I, I can record my computer screen, and I can do sort of a voiceover uh, over it. Um, so, if that's something that you guys would be interested in, or if that's something that you think might help people out, you know, by all means, let me know. And uh, whoops, wrong glasses. I just pulled out my safety glasses when I meant to pull out my sunglasses. <laughs> I have a bad habit of keeping my safety glasses on the top of my head when I leave work. And so I ended up with like two, three pairs of safety glasses like in my car. <laughs> and I have to like bring all three of them back into work at the same time, either the following day or, you know, a few days later. So anyway, whoops. Oh, no. are you guys still with me? I need to park my car. Hang on. Let me just uh, make sure I park my car. Sorry guys, I just dropped you for a second. My phone fell off of the mount. Let me get it back. I have one of these like magnetic phone mounts and it kind of slipped free from the, from the grip there. Sorry about that, everyone. Sorry for dropping you. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what you I don't know what you mean by using simulations or programs, but uh, that's sort of like what you, your comment or your question sort of uh, brought that idea that I had one uh, a long time ago in, into my mind. Uh, so let me know if you think that'd be a good idea. Oh, looks like there's already a message. It says, "Yes, Excel plan would be really great. I recommend to have a public poll regarding this before starting." Yeah, yep, that's something I can certainly do. Um, I have done polling before. Um, in fact, I did a poll fairly recently, probably like, you know, less than two months ago or something like that. I listed five uh, chemistry topics and I asked the audience to, you know, of these five chemistry topics, which one do you want to see the most uh, on my channel in the future? And I don't remember what every single topic was. I know one of them was like acids and bases. One of them was kinetics, kinetics and equilibrium. One of them was like intermolecular forces. One of them was like solutions, you know, like molarity, molality, parts per million, colligative properties. <clears throat> and then the other one was chemical bonding, things like, uh, you know, Vesper theory. Uh, valent, of course, that's valence shell electron pair repulsion. Uh, um, what else? You know, the, the valence bond theory stuff, the molecular orbit, orbital theory stuff. And that, that, topic right the chemical bonding stuff 
with Vesper valence bond theory, molecular orbital theory, was the topic that, that had the most votes like, by a lot. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on with my my highly produced content, where I'm you know in front of my green screen. There's all kind of uh, um, you know images and stuff like that. I tell you what, let me um, reposition my car because I have this like glare and I just don't think it looks really well. Like I have like a really shady dark region up here and like a super bright region down here. So I'm gonna try to reposition my car and hopefully that'll make for a better a better shot, like a better frame in my camera. Um, in the store right now. Uh, so. Hopefully this, <laughs> there's a tattoo shop behind me. Um, definitely not going to get a tattoo, but uh, anyway, so, uh, okay, hopefully this, this looks better. I think it does. Um, still some sun coming in, uh, but I think this looks better. Uh, so, um, Nitish says, how about you start chemical thermodynamics? Um, what do you mean by chemical thermodynamics? Do you mean like advanced like physical chemistry stuff or do you mean like just regular like thermochemistry like you know the first law of thermodynamics and you know how to calculate heat you know the whole Q equals MC delta T stuff or you know uh, like the basic definition of enthalpy or like standard standard heats of formation standard heats of reaction because I have videos on all that stuff. Um, what I don't have is like the free energy stuff and the entropy stuff. You know, like like entropy changes and, and uh, spontaneity of a process and, and Gibbs free energy and this and stuff like stuff like that. Um, that's an interesting topic, and I definitely plan on covering it in the future. Uh, I just I, I just I just haven't gotten around to it yet, unfortunately. Um, but uh, yeah, if you could elaborate on what you mean by chemical therm thermodynamics, I'd certainly appreciate it. Um, Axpers says, hi, hello, Axpers. I don't recognize your name. Um, so if you are new, welcome, and thank you so much for joining us. Um, as I've said uh, before, and I'll say it again, and probably not for the last time, everybody is welcome to type in the chat whatever they want. Um, we can talk about whatever you want to talk about, chemistry or otherwise. I would appreciate anything you have to say, any uh, any feedback you have. Um, so Nietzsche says, uh, yeah, so he's elaborating on what he was asking. He's saying how reaction thermodynamics work, Gibbs free energy, entropy, enthalpy, et cetera, like you said. Yeah, you know, I, um, okay, yeah, uh, I'll definitely make note of that and, and get to that as soon as I can. Um, you know, I, in the meantime, you know, I, I do have videos on, um, you know, I have a lot of thermochemistry content. Um, you know, I have a basic discussion about the first law of thermodynamics. Uh, I have uh, videos on, I have one video just that's all about enthalpy. Um, I have a video that's about constant volume calorimetry using a bomb cal calorimeter and all that stuff. Uh, I have a video on constant pressure calorimetry. Uh, I, and I have a, a video about, uh, you know, the difference between state uh, functions and path functions, you know, like delta H or enthalpy is a, is a state function and then things like work and heat are, are path functions. They depend on the path taken, whereas um, a state function only depends on, on the current state of the system, not how it arrived there. So, um, and then I, I, I have videos on, I think I said this before, so hopefully, hopefully I'm not repeating myself, but I said something in like, uh, you know, standard states, standard enthalpy changes, and, and standard enthalpies of reactions. So all of that stuff can be found if you go to my, my channel page, youtube.com slash Ben's Ken videos. Uh, one of the, um, you know, parts of that of that main channel page, uh, one of the sections of it is playlists, and there's uh, there's a complete thermochemistry playlist that has all that kind of stuff on there. And then uh, one of my recent videos, actually, that I published this year, um, kind of the first educational video that I posted in a very, very long time, was all about lattice energy and the Born-Haber cycle, uh, which is, uh, it's about chemical bonding, but it's also about thermochemistry too. So if you're interested in learning about, you know, lattice energy, you know, energy, uh, the energy associated with forming uh, an ionic compound uh, from its constituent elements, uh, I talk all about lattice energy and, and, and the Born-Haber cycle. So um, lots of, lots of thermochemistry content uh, that I ha already have on the internet, but there's also a lot, like you said, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of 
thermochemistry content or thermodynamics content that I still haven't made yet. So I, I appreciate your uh, your suggestion. Thank you. And that goes for everybody. Feel free to suggest whatever you want. Talk about whatever you want. You know, I really want to spark as much discussion in these live streams as possible. Um, and then one thing, uh, I, I mentioned this, I think it was like two live streams ago. But one thing that I mentioned uh, was I want to do some kind of Discord call-in show where, you know, we get into a Discord call and it's, uh, it's sort of broadcast live and we can actually talk and, you know, I can actually hear your voice and you know, I don't feel like I'm just talking to a, a chat box. I'm not just talking to my phone, <laughs> you know, because that can be, uh, that can be, uh, you know, it's just not as organic for lack of a better term, no pun intended, but it's just not as, uh, as genuine to me as actually like talking. I'm more of a talker. I don't really like texting or anything like that. I like talking to people, hearing their voice. Really the best thing for me is video calling. I, I like actually like seeing the person, uh, to whom I'm talking, but you know, I'll, I'll settle for a Discord voice call. Uh, and then, you know, I can just put up, like, put up a link to call me on Discord and, and you know, I can just do a live stream and just take take calls one by one, have like a call-in show type thing. I really, really want to do that. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know and maybe I'll, uh, I'll try to set up a date, you know, give plenty of time to announce it ahead of time for people to, you know, like put it on my calendar and, and you know, remind everyone weekly and hype it up so that hopefully I can get some good participation. My biggest fear, which is not really that big of a fear, but my biggest fear with that is that I go through all this trouble and set up this call-in show and then nobody calls in. <laughs> it could be, you know, it's entirely possible that something like that would happen. After all, uh, I'm not very popular on here. Um, I'm working to try to, you know, shock my YouTube channel back to life. But, you know, it's it's what happens when you're when you uh, when you're not consistent as I haven't, you know, I, I haven't been consistent until very, very recently. I've had very, very long, you know, months and months and months at a time where I haven't uploaded anything. And that's, that's toxic for a YouTube channel. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's just people start to lose interest if, if, uh, if you're not producing anything. So Nitsu says Discord would be great. Post it on Instagram to get more people. Uh, interesting that you mentioned Instagram because my Instagram does not have many followers. In fact, anybody who's in here, and if you'd like to give me a follow on Instagram, I would certainly appreciate it. It's just at Benskin Videos is my handle. I'll go ahead and I don't think I can type in the chat. Uh, I don't know why I can't type in the chat on my own stream on my phone because when I'm on my computer, I, I do a stream from my computer using like OBS or something, you know. And, you know, it's like the chat window is open. I can actually type into the chat. Uh, but on my phone, it doesn't seem to have that capability. Um, if anybody, if I'm wrong about that, anybody knows how to do that, um, let me know because I, I'm just in the dark. I don't know what the heck's going on. So, uh, but yeah, my, I mean, my Instagram, you know, it's it's just Ben's Chem Videos if you want to follow it. Um, you know, I post just random, you know, chemistry stuff and sometimes even non-chemistry related stuff. Like I have some pretty cute photos of like me and my daughter on there. Um, so it's just kind of a, you know, like a slightly less business, maybe a, a tad more personal, but still the name of it's Ben's Chem Videos and the profile picture is just the chemical symbols for beryllium and nitrogen, BE for beryllium and for nitrogen. So it says Ben. Uh, the same, the same image as my, uh, my YouTube channel avatar, that little B and, um, so that's, that's my Instagram, but, um, I'm just not sure, you know, I, unless there's something I, that I don't understand about Instagram, which is entirely possible because I don't, you know, I haven't really spent much time on there. I'm very new to it still. Uh, but since I don't have many followers, I just don't expect to get much out of posting on Instagram, you know, like, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll upload a video directly to, to, uh, IGTV and it, it will get like less than 50 views. I don't think I have any video on IGTV that's gotten more than 50 views. Um, I just don't have a big following on there at least yet. Perhaps I never will. I don't know, but I don't really push it super hard. Um, so it's kind of just, you have to take what you get. So doo -doo 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 -doo. <clears throat> Nitish says, what's your discord account? Uh, yeah, I, um, if you go to my YouTube channel page, youtube.com slash Ben's videos, um, at the top of that page, there's a banner, you know, the, the image at the top of the uh, YouTube channel page. And on the bottom right hand corner of that banner, there are these little icons. Those are links. And there are links to my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Discord. So you can find me through there. Um, if you get in my on my Discord server, 
and just type that you want to, you know, invite, you know, you, you could probably, I think you can find me through there. You can invite me, you can, you know, and then once I accept your invitation, you know, you can uh, DM me or whatever. Um, so I've, it's, it's very accessible. So, uh, says so that I would recommend to have a separate Instagram account, also a Facebook page and group. Yeah, I, I have those things. Well, maybe not a group, but I have a Facebook page. Um, it's just fb.me slash Ben's Chem videos. Um, so yeah, I have all those things. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. Uh, so you're welcome to, to hit me up on any of those platforms. In fact, I would certainly appreciate it if you do. Uh, so yeah. So anyway, about 40 minutes in, I think the most amount of concurrent viewers I had on the stream is five. So that tells me one of two things or both that I'm not very interesting or entertaining. <laughs> I don't provide much value to people or I, um, you know, Friday afternoons are just not a very good time to stream, perhaps. Um, although I don't know what time it is where you guys are, but where I am, it's it's uh, almost, you know, 15 minutes after 4 o'clock p.m. or 1,600 hours for you military time people. Um, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, people, you know, it's educational YouTube channel. People aren't really into educational things on Fridays. In fact, every time I look up my YouTube analytics, you know, I look up my views, um, my daily views, there's always like a, a dip, you know, like Thursday, it'll be like higher, you know, or average, and then it'll just, it'll just nosedive on Friday. Um, and a little bit more on Saturday, Friday and Saturday are, are always very slow days for, uh, I would assume most, most educational channels, certainly mine, I can tell you that. Um, what else? Do, 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 do. Trying to see what else is in the chat. Not a lot of participation this time around. Uh, I mean, according to my screen, there's only two people in here, so I guess it makes sense that there's not a lot of participation given that there's such a small amount of people in here. But uh, for those of you who are here, thank you for being here, um, and thank you for your messages. Really appreciate it. Um, it just says, you do you, buddy. Good things take time. Like attracts like. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, um, you know, I think, you know, it, you're right. It's important to sort of, uh, you know, understand that things take time and, and that, you uh, you know, you have to manage your expectations. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people, you know, if you look at like the big, big, big YouTubers, it's like, uh, for, for many of them, I would say probably all of them, or at least the vast majority of them, you know, they are, they are where they are, you know, at the top of YouTube, you know, getting all their views and, and this and that, because, uh, that is like one of the, that's like pretty much their main focus in life. You know, that's, that's above everything else. And they, they spend, most of their time, you know, focusing on, on, you know, getting, getting the content out, getting the views, you know, producing the, the quality content that people will like providing, you know, providing value, whether it's entertainment or education or whatever. And, um, you know, that, that consumes a large chunk of their life. Me, not so much. Um, I'm more consumed by, you know, spending time with my family, especially now kind of don't have much of a choice with a newborn. <laughs> um, but I can still take, you know, an hour here and there to, to do a live stream, but but yeah, I, you're right though. It's important to understand that things take time and you know expectations should be managed. And I think I do, uh, but it's also good to have those those goals as long as they're not like you know unrealistic fantasies, you know. So anyway, what else is going on? Love to know what is going on with you guys. Out of stuff to bring up. Uh, top chat. It just again says knowledge has always been a hard thing to spread. Keep doing your best. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think really the biggest thing is consistency. Just you know, just being consistent. You know, sticking to. It's hard for me to actually have a schedule. Like I would love to like have. A, um, you know, like a, like a, I always go live at this time on this day, you know, weekly, like I could, I could put that on my channel banner, like, you know, live Fridays at four at three thirty PM, you know, I could just have that and just do it consistently. And people would just expect that I'd be available at that time. Cause I always am. I would love for that to be the case, but right now it's just impossible to do that. My schedule is just too unpredictable. 
um, not only at home, but also at work, you know, I never know when I might have to pull a late night at work or just, you know, stay working on a reaction, you know, until I can get it to the point where it can be left overnight without ruining it, ruining it. That's kind of the thing about being a chemist is that, you know, it's not like being a programmer where you can just like save your progress and then leave. Like, you know, you can't really hit control S on a, <laughs> on a chemical reaction. Like you have to get that reaction to a point at which it can be left overnight. And depending on the nature of the chemistry, some, some, uh, some experience, some experiments are, are sort of more demanding than others. Um, where I used to work, you know, I, I used to work for this defense contractor doing research and development on uh, rocket fuel and propellants, and the chemistry was very, very demanding. And it would, it, you know, there was a very specific window of time or very specific window of reaction progress, and you, you just have to get it to that level. You have to get it to that stage of the reaction before you can go home for the night. Sometimes that would take a very, very long time. So there were, there were quite a few times where I would come in to work at like 6 a.m. and not leave until like 10 p.m. It's like a 14-hour day um, because, you know, if you leave, you're going to ruin the reaction and, you know, you'll have to start all over again. You'll undo like that whole day or in some cases a whole week's worth of work. So sometimes being a chemist can be very, very demanding when your schedule is sort of governed by the laws of nature instead of just some, you know, arbitrary whim of, of the manager. <laughs> uh, Nidhu says, this is where social media can help. With little interactions on social media, public outreach soon increases. Yep, yeah, I, I use, you know, as much social media as I can. I, I can't really spend a lot of whole, like a whole lot of time on social media just because I'm, you know, I'm working on other things and spending time with family and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I have recently, you know, because like my Facebook page, my Instagram, like, uh, are, are very, are very recent additions. And, um, the Twitter is another story. Like I've had a Twitter for a very, very long time, but I just haven't been active, like hardly at all. Uh, so I have like, I think I have fewer than, <clears throat> excuse me. I think I have like fewer than 20 Twitter followers. I mean, it's just sad. And honestly, like, you know, there's a couple of Twitter feeds that I follow, like, and, and not just follow in the sense of like, I click that button. So technically I'm following, but like, when I say follow, I mean like I actually look through the Twitter feeds every now and again. Um, but other than that, you know, other than the, the small handful of feeds that I follow, Twitter just seems to be like really toxic. It seems like people just just argue back and forth with each other on Twitter, and there's not a lot of like intellectually stimulating conversation going on. I guess how much how much intellectually stimulating conversation could you have in you know 140 or 280 or however many it is characters? I think you know. I mean, it, it kind of helps because it kind of forces people to condense and boil their ideas down to something more digestible. But I don't know, man. It just seems like a lot of people abuse that 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 format and just just spew a bunch of bullshit and nonsense and just try to argue and and you know it's, it's just it's just gross. I don't really like Twitter, but it's still you know it's still a fairly val valuable um, social media you know. Avenue. Also, I, I, I really, really hate the, and this this is true of Facebook too, but I really, really hate the, the censorship that they're doing. Um, I think it's absolutely detestable, uh, the fact that they put a muzzle on people with whom they disagree politically. Uh, I think that's um, that's just abominable behavior, and it goes against, uh, you know, freedom. It goes against Western values. It goes, it goes against, you know, the freedoms that a lot of people fought and in some cases, in many cases, died for. Um, you know whether or not they should be legally legally allowed to censor people i don't really care i mean i'm not really talking about legal i'm just talking about right and wrong and it's just wrong to just you know censor people it's wrong to especially when you have different standards i think it's wrong to you know to censor the people that you don't like and then the people that you do like you know get away with with posting whatever they want no matter at how uh offensive or abhorrent it is to the op to their to their opponent uh, I just want people to be consistent, really. You know, it's like if you're going to have rules, have the same rules for everybody. You know, have have some principles here. Don't just have an ideology. Don't just have some arbitrary distinctions where one group, you know, you grill them t to the core and then the other, the other group, you just let them get away with murder. Like, just make it the same. Make it even for everybody across the board. Make it the same rules, the same baseline. You know, that's what I don't like about these social media companies. But nonetheless, they still are, they still are uh, valuable platforms to be on. And so... I'm using them, uh, but yeah, I just, I don't like that aspect of it, you know, I don't like that aspect of it.
because basically like i don't know i guess my take on it is that like if you have to to censor somebody if you have to like prevent somebody from speaking i think you sort of diminished your own argument right because <clears throat> if there, let's say there's somebody that i disagree with on a certain issue right if i if i do something to prevent that person from actually speaking from airing out their idea then i think that's kind of a confession that my argument against their argument isn't really powerful enough and so the only thing left to do is to shut them down you know it's like if you're going to shut somebody down shut somebody down with a productive counter argument you know make a compelling argument um and and do it publicly so that everybody can see what's going on you know to me that's the best way to 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 win is to actually you know actually make a compelling counter argument and you know strive for the truth uh but that doesn't really seem to be what twitter and facebook are doing so it's sad very sad but you know it is what it is they're going to do what they're going to do and uh there we are so um let's see it just says simply start a facebook group for now ask everyone to join and upload chemistry and science memes and contents they'll call more people soon must try yeah yeah that's a good idea that's a very very good idea because i do have the ben's chem videos page and there are some exclusive things that i've posted there that i haven't posted anywhere else but having a group though where like other people can like post and and, and thing like that sounds like a really really good idea um that sounds like a really really good idea um it's funny because like quite a few months ago i actually put put out a video asking you guys what my community name should be and um the community name that seems to be the most popular with people is the benzenes uh so when i start a video i could say hey what's up benzenes how you doing like oh what's up you know like like that kind of thing um to call my community the benzenes you know like <clears throat> benzene ring you know six member aromatic ring of carbon atoms of course and then, you know because it starts with ben you know, it just makes sense that i would call my my group the benzenes so maybe i could i could start a facebook group and call it the benzenes and um who knows? You know, maybe that maybe that'll become something cool. Um, I definitely like the you know the community oriented aspect of things. Um, you know, I like my Discord server. Like I've had a few people posting things on there, and um, I don't really feed the Discord all that much. Uh, I should probably do it more. I should probably you know ask more questions and post more things, even if it's just a silly meme, just to like stimulate and spark discussion with people. Uh, because I've actually had some pretty good conversations with some people on my Discord server. Um, so, by the way, if anybody's interested in joining my Discord server, uh, just click the Discord link. It's on the, uh, if you go to my YouTube channel page, youtube.com slash uh, at the top of the YouTube channel page, there's a, a banner, big image at the bottom right-hand corner of that image. You'll find links to, um, my Discord in addition to, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, um, it's free. I don't charge any, anybody, anything to join it. Um, you know, if people start trolling it like crazy, then I'll probably have to charge for it because... In general, trolls won't pay money to troll. They'll just, you know, instead of trolling a, a paid server, they'll they'll uh, they'll just migrate over to some server that's free and troll that server. Uh, but luckily, like things have been very civil. Um, in general, you know, like my experience on the internet has actually been pretty pretty pleasant. I mean, there's always going to be haters. It's funny because even for, even for educational content, there are still haters. Like I think a couple of streams ago, maybe I can't remember if it was the last stream or the stream before that. Somebody just started talking like mad shit to me. I don't know why. <laughs> this guy was just like angry or something. Maybe he just, uh, you know, is upset, you know, because his father left him or something. I don't know. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe his mom like beat him up or something. I don't know. But this guy uh, just came into my stream with all this, you know, negativity and hostility, you know, talking about, you know, go home and be a husband. And, you know, when somebody asked me what I do, I started telling him, you know, all the organic lab techniques and stuff that I commonly do. And he's like, oh, so you're not a chemist. You're just, just a tech. You know, just, you know, and I, I didn't really feed the troll all that much. You know, I responded to it, but I didn't, you know, I didn't get angry or anything. First of all, getting angry. I mean, it takes a lot more than just some asshole being a troll to get under my skin. But secondly, it's just like, what are you doing? You know, like what, why, like, I don't know. Like I, even, even for him, like, I don't have any like animosity towards him or whatever, but it's like, I just, I don't want anybody, you know, including the, the dude that was trolling me. I don't want anybody to have that level of negativity and, and hostility in their life to the point where, you know, out of the, out of the infinitely many possibilities of what this person could do with his time, he chose at that moment in time to join my stream and start, and start talking shit. I mean, you ever think about that? You ever think about how 
anything that you're doing at any moment in time is like the best thing among a huge list of alternatives, right? Right now, I'm choosing to do a live stream and talk to you guys instead of everything else. Like there's so many other things that I could be doing, but instead I'm choosing at this moment in time to do a live stream. So this is like my favorite thing, like my absolute most favorite thing out of all the things that I could be doing. This is what I'm doing right now. This is what I chose to do. Nobody's forcing me to do it. So this is like my favorite thing right now. Right. And when I was live streaming a couple weeks ago, this guy's favorite thing at that time was to hop into my stream and start talking shit. Like, I don't get it. I mean, it'd be one thing, it'd be one thing if I, you know, if I was asking for it, it'd be one thing if I'm like, you know, actively putting hostility out there and attracting hatred to myself, but I don't, you know, I'm just always like, Hey, how you guys doing? And Hey, this is the new chemistry thing. And, you know, like I'll, I'll answer a question. Like if somebody, uh, you know, if somebody, uh, asks me a question about some controversial topic, like I'll answer it and you might not like my take on it, you know, and that, that might spark some, some controversy if I have an unpopular opinion on something. And, you know, a lot of the opinions that I have on certain issues are, are pretty unpopular with people. Um, but I don't know, man, like I, this guy just, <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why people, uh, I don't know why people do that. I, don't, I just don't know why people just come in just to troll. I don't know. Maybe they just think it's funny, but I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'd love to know your thoughts. It just says, yes, social media is shitty, but this is where we can find people. Yeah, you're right. You know, unfortunately, you know, these are the avenues that these people who have gotten in on the ground floor have built. And, you know, you kind of have to work within these avenues, you know. So. Nitish says, internet bullying is real and it hits hard. I believe one should handle this empathetically. That person might be having a bad time. And when we understand this, we should forgive. Um... I guess. I mean, I, I kind of agree with that, but at the same time, it's like, no, I mean, you're an adult, you're responsible for your actions. You know, there's, there's no, you know, th society has to hold people responsible for their actions, regardless of their, uh, regardless of their history, regardless of their circumstances, right? There's no, I had a really bad childhood and therefore I don't have to go to jail if I get behind the wheel of a car and, and, uh, and kill somebody like, no, no, you're just responsible, you know? So I understand, like, again, like if, if somebody, you know, has a bunch of hatred and hostility in their life, you know, maybe they're, they're insecure, maybe they're working at a dead end job, uh, maybe, you know, maybe they're like overweight or unattractive and they can't, you know, can't get a date, you know, maybe they may had a bad childhood, maybe they came from abuse, maybe they came from neglect. Yeah, I mean, I, I sympathize with that person. Um, but there are, are other ways to handle that that don't involve just hopping into some random dude's live stream and just talking shit. And yeah, I'm willing to forgive that person, you know, if they apologize. But honestly, like, I don't know. I, I'm just more interested in, in, I'm really just more interested in what compels somebody to do something like that. You know, not that it upset me. I mean, it's just like, it's just interesting. It's just like, you know, like, like, and it's, like I said earlier, like of all the things you could be doing with your time. I'm not talking to you, but the, the, this individual, of all the things that this individual could have been doing with his time, you know, he chose to just start talking shit to me. So I don't know. It's just interesting to me. But you know, I don't have, like I said, I don't have any animosity towards the guy. I hope he, you know, hope things, hope everything's okay with him, and I hope his circumstances improve to the point where you know maybe he can actually be, you know, constructive and positive towards people instead of just being negative and trying to bring people down. Uh, because you know that's what I do. I'm not I'm not a negative person. You know I don't try to attract hate. I don't try to hate on anybody. Um, you know I'm just trying to you know trying to do my thing. You know first and foremost educate the world. Um, you know if I can pick up a following and uh, you know spread the message that way that would be fantastic. But uh, Nidja says yes I agree with you. As Buddha says we can't make the world a better place but we can change ourselves. That's how one person. And now that's one person who's better in our world. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And this is like, I don't know if you know who Jordan Peterson is. Uh, Jordan Peterson is this uh, Canadian clinical psychologist. And, you know, he's, he's actually risen in popularity. He has like a really, really um, 
huge book, like this book, and I don't mean huge as in like, it's like a thick book. I mean, like it's a book that has sold like hundreds of millions of copies. It's called 12 Rules for Life. And one of those rules is to, uh, is to, you know, get your house in order before you criticize the world, you know? Like, before you start criticizing the world, like, make sure your room is clean. Make sure your vehicle is clean. Make sure you you have, you know, your own life together with your goals and your relationships and your this, your that. You know, make sure all of that's in perfect order before you criticize the world. And I think part of the implication there is that, like, you know, you're never in perfect order. You know, you're always trying to improve things. So I think really the hidden or, you know, the, the hidden message of that is to really stop criticizing the world or at least criticize the world less, you know, and focus more on yourself. And, and that'll be that'll lead to a much, much more happier, a much happier life. Uh, and I and I would agree with that if that is the, the sort of the hidden message. Um, I would, I would definitely agree with that. Huge, huge Jordan Peterson fan. I've, I've read 12, 12 books for life. It's a really, really good book. Um, it definitely gets pretty deep, um, you know, and occasionally <clears throat> it's kind of hard to figure out, like, you know, because it'll, it'll, there'll be like these stories, these sort of vignettes in the book. And it's, it's kind of hard to think about, like, OK, how does this little story apply to, you know, rule number three or whatever? <laughs> but uh, but it's still a really good read. I would recommend it to anybody. Twelve Rules for Life by Jordan B. Peterson. Very, very good book because um, he's a he's an interesting guy. And uh, I hope he I hope he's doing well. I, I, I know he had some issues with some, uh, you know, with some some medication. You know, like he he took too much of a benzodiazepine, and, you know, had some withdrawal symptoms and was in rehab trying to get off of the benzos and stuff like that. So I, I hope he's doing all right. Um, really, really do. But just because he's had personal struggles doesn't mean that anything he says is uh, somehow devalued. Um, you know, so anyway, um, all right. I think I'm going to end the stream here in a little bit. Um, not a lot of participation. Nitish, hats off to you for, uh, for staying with me and having this conversation. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I think your ideas have been really, really good. I, I really like your suggestions about, you know, what topics to cover. You know, the, I'm just trying to think of everything we talked about. We talked about more thermodynamics content we talked about you know doing like ex, like an excel for chemistry video series um uh we've talked about you know starting a facebook group and posting memes and, and and building a community that way um i think all of those ideas are winners i think they're all slam dunk ideas uh it's just it's just on me it's on me to to find the time and carve out the time uh, to do this kind of stuff um Natish also says, find how to make friends and influence people book, uh, recommending. I loved it. Yeah, I, I've heard good things about that book. I've never read it, but I've heard very, very good things about that. I'm going to have to pick that one up. I'm going I'm, I'm to, you know what, I think like right after I get off this live stream, I'm going to hop on Amazon and order that book, like a paperback or a hardback, like an actual physical copy of the book. I don't really like um, Kindles or anything like that or like reading on my phone. Like I actually like you know, physically like turning pages. And it's easier on the eyes. Um, Nidish says 3 a.m. in the morning here, buddy. Good morning for, for me. A good afternoon for you. Yeah. Wow. 3 a.m. in the morning. That's, uh, that's pretty late or pretty early, depending on, uh, whether you're, you know, <laughs> depending on whether you're just getting up or depending on whether you're staying up really late. But, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for staying up. I, I, I do hope you get some rest though. Um, I'm sure, you know, you're a busy guy. You said you're, what did you say? You're a chemical engineer? Yeah, so I'm sure you're, you're very, very busy and, and you have to conserve your energy. So by all means, man, I'm going to end the stream soon. So I encourage you to hop out and get some rest. Um, but thank you. Thank you for, for joining. Thank you for participation. Uh, I'll keep it going for a couple more minutes. Um, if anybody is interested in sending a super chat, I would uh, certainly appreciate it. Um, for those of you who don't know what super chats are, super chats uh, is basically just a <clears throat> chat message that you attach to a monetary donation. And the chat, the chat message displays in a nice, beautiful color and stays pinned to the top of the chat window for a duration of time that is proportional to the amount of money donated. So, for instance, uh, you donate more money, the you know, the more money you donate, the longer your chat message stays at the top of the chat. Um, so if anybody would like to send one, <clears throat> I would love to receive it, obviously. Um, I haven't been getting many recently, but that's okay. Just the fact that you guys are here and are participating in the stream is uh, is good enough. 
definitely good enough. I really, really appreciate it that you are here among all other places that you're here. Um, what did didn't, what did Nitch just say? He said something like "Good day." Yeah, yeah, man. Have a have a good rest of the night or early morning, whatever whatever it is for you, man. <laughs> have a good one and have a great weekend too. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave a little bit of time if anybody wants to send a super chat or anybody wants to get a last minute chat message in. Uh, anybody has a last minute topic they want to bring up, whatever. Um, now's the time to enter it in the chat. Um, if not, uh, I'll just give it a couple more minutes and then I will. Um, end the stream and start my weekend. I am really looking forward to starting my weekend. Uh, and I hope you guys have some good plans for your weekend too. Um, come to think of it, I don't really have much, much in the realm of plans for my weekend. I'm just gonna, I definitely want to do my next video. Um, as I said previously in the stream, I'll say it again. Uh, my next video is going to be about balancing a, a redox equation, oxidation reduction, uh, reaction equation, balancing one of those occurring in basic solution. The last video was acidic solution. This one's going to be basic solution. And I already know what problem I'm, I'm going to do. I sort of wrote out a little sketch of, of, you know, where I basically worked out the problem on paper for myself. These are like my little off-screen notes that I can sort of use to guide me while I'm making the video. So everything's all planned and ready to go. I just have to take the, you know, 30 minutes or so to sit down and, and set up my camera and shoot it. And then, of course, I have to take the, I don't know, maybe an hour or so to do the editing and, you know, make the thumbnail, write the description and, you know, edit the, the end screen and all that stuff. There's a lot that goes into a YouTube video, a lot of little subtle things that you don't really notice if you're a, if you're a viewer, but uh, you definitely notice them if you're a content creator uh, because, you know, you have to deliberately put these things in there. Um, so hopefully I can carve out the time to do this over the weekend. Uh, I basically have to negotiate free time with my wife <laughs> because we both love free time and there's only so much of it to go around. So I have to sort of negotiate like, okay, like from this time to this time, I get free time to do this and then you can have your free time then. You know, I think it's, it's, it's just, you know, communication and planning, you know, whenever you have young children, you know, small children, infants, toddlers, you just have to communicate with your partner and plan and, uh, and make sure things are, things are balanced, things are fair, you know. A, a good peaceful civil negotiation that's how it is most of the time <laughs> uh, there are times where both of us are feeling really 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 tired and there's a little tiny bit of bickering back and forth but it usually doesn't take long for one or both of us to sort of apologize and then we move on and move forward um, so hopefully this weekend I can negotiate for some free time and do my balancing redox reactions and aqueous basic solution video which I'm really, really excited to do. So, wow, there's a couple more people in here. It's not the best timing because I was actually considering ending the stream pretty soon, but if there's anything you guys wanted to talk about, now's the time to enter your message in the chat because um, I will be ending things fairly soon, like within the next couple of minutes. Oh, and it looks like a couple of people who have just joined in have just left. Um, thank you. If you ever go back and watch this video, thank you for joining, even though it was for a very, very short period of time. I truly appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, so yeah, um, since nobody's typing anything in the chat or sending me any super chats or anything, um, and I'm over an hour and seven minutes into my stream, I think that's about all the time that I have for today. Uh, again, I just want to, I know I sound like a broken record, but I just want to thank you all very much for joining the stream. Um, as I said, as I've said before, your feedback is always welcome. Uh, I would love to know what your thoughts are, um, how you think this channel could, could be improved. Um, and if you are interested, I would love the opportunity uh, to have you guys following me on my various other social media profiles. Um, you can find all of those by visiting my channel page, youtube.com slash videos. And on the bottom right hand corner of the channel banner, which is at the top of the YouTube channel page, you can find links to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. Um, also pretty soon, hopefully in the near future, I'm going to do a Discord call-in show where I'll just do a YouTube live stream and just have Discord open and anybody who wants to uh, can call in and uh, talk to me and you know, we can have a back and forth about whatever you want to talk about. Um, you know, I can hear your voice. You can sort of communicate directly rather than me just, you know, talking to my phone screen here. 
uh, I think it'd be a more genuine, more organic way to communicate with you guys. So I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that in the near future too. Um, so let me know what your thoughts are. Um, multiple ways to, to contact me, multiple great ways to reach out to me. Um, and, uh, you know, also if you, ha if you know anybody, if you know anybody who wants to learn chemistry or is uh, taking chemistry, maybe they're having a difficult time, or maybe they just want to brush up on some topics to, to solidify their chemistry knowledge. If you know anybody uh, in that situation, um, please spread the word, you know, send them a link to my channel, you know, send them my way. I, I would really, really appreciate you guys spreading the word. So, all right, that is it. Um, thanks again and uh, love you guys and talk to you soon. All right, take care. Bye.